guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. I have three things I want to share with you, and I want you to write these down before I get into what I'm going to talk about today, which is Daniel and Ezekiel 38. Okay, first of all, these are the three things that I want you to write down and remember to do every single day. Pray, pray daily, okay? Read the word daily. Don't worry about getting through the Bible in a year, but make sure you read the Bible every single day. And the third thing is do good deeds. That's it, okay? Now, we're going to start off in Daniel. I've been doing a study on the book of Daniel. And the purpose of this video and these videos is not only so you can learn, but also so that you are, I should say, discipled. So that what you learn, you can teach others, that you can train yourself I want to give you the resources and the helps to help you so that you grow in your spiritual life. It's like driving. If I drive the car for you, you will not be able to learn how to drive. That's why those three things, read the Bible daily, pray daily, and do good deeds daily. doesn't matter how much to get started, but just remember every single day to do those. Okay, now Daniel was taken into... Babylon in captivity from the time he was like 13 to maybe 17 years old. They took him at that age and then he lived his entire life up to like an old man through the book of Daniel and he goes through all different types of things. It's not a very long book. You can actually read the book in a day and I encourage you to read that book today or this week. Go through the whole book. But in that book of Daniel, it has a picture of all the world empires. And, you know, everybody's been interested in this Ezekiel 38 thing. And what that is, is many Christians believe that when that war happens, that the rapture has had to um, come right then or right after or very close. And that Ezekiel 38 says in the latter days. That that's when that happens okay so if you want to see where we're at um nebuchadnezzar which was a king you'll read it in the book of daniel had a dream and god showed him all the different um kingdoms that were going to be in the world until he comes and so the last one is the ten toes clay and iron mixed together they don't go together but that's the last kingdom. And then Jesus is the rock that comes down out of, like, there's a rock, it says, um, that came out without being caught, hits it, and blows all those kingdoms away. And then God sets up his kingdom. So if you haven't read any of this, you're going to want to read Ezekiel 36. You're going to want to read, you know, talk, um, I'm not exactly sure if I got all these chapters correct right here, but... You know, we know that um, the Bible talks about Israel coming back to their land, which they did, and they became a nation again, which was a sign of the end times. And then we see um, this war right now. Many people believe this is the war of Ezekiel 38, the beginnings of it. I don't know if it is or not. We're watching to see. We don't know for sure. Um, people are watching to see if that is. This is why it's such a big thing. I highly recommend Googling Ezekiel 38 and looking at all the videos. I know Hal Lindsay's had stuff for years up. And um, there's Jack Hibbs and Chuck Misler. I want to give you some resources, you know. Um, there's these Calvary chapels. I don't mean to say like these Calvary chapels. But you can look up like a Calvary Chapel and then type in uh, Ezekiel 38. You can type in like Baptist Church, Ezekiel 38, and you will find all different people talking about it. But here's the thing. You are to rightly divide the word of truth. You cannot go to the word and necessarily someone else, everyone's going to have different opinions. So you're going to have to go in there and study and pray, study and pray, study and pray, know the word for yourself. Do I believe we're in the last days? Yes, I do. Do I believe that my generation will see the rapture of the church? Yes, I do. 
And But I want to encourage you to get in the Word for yourself, to get a physical Bible in your hand, not just the ones online, and to learn, study. Um, there's all kinds of versions. The best version is the one you can read and understand. And, uh, you know, I read through different versions of the Bible. My go-to is King James, basically because... I know it's reliable and any errors in it I know that are widely known okay so um, but all the Bibles were you know done from the original languages you'd have to go into a big study of all that and I have done some of that gone into the original languages and just you know look through the I, I don't know if I can't say I went into the original languages I should say I studied the how the Bible was put together and stuff you know I don't know Hebrew and Greek but so what's the point of the video? The point of the video is to say this. The Lord is coming back. We are seeing the signs. Um, you as a child of God need to get ready. Like um, I had a friend say, the bride has to get ready, you know, to, for her groom. Like they call it the church the bride. The, the um, Jesus is the groom. Like we have to get ready. So you need to be in the word, prayed up, stayed up, ready to go up. If you haven't seen the video on uh, Tommy Hicks' vision for the last days, check that out. That was pretty interesting to see. And, you know, you need to hear the word, pray about it, and search the word and know it for yourself and not just to have other people tell you because you do not want to be deceived in the last days. So you need to know that Bible like the back of your hand. Open the book. Shut the book. Open the book. Shut the book. Read it. In it. Memorize it. Talk it. Speak it. Pray it. Listen to preachers. Listen. When you hear preachers, you take your Bible out and you read and you study. What he said is that, why is he that in the Bible? Is that what somebody said? And just stop. But, you know, you need to be wise. This is... You know, people, how do I put this? People talk about living up in the mountains and hiding in the hills and all this stuff when they hear about last days. Come on, technology is, you can't do that. <laughs> but you know how you prepare for yourself for the end times? You know the word. As a Christian, you don't have to worry about those things because God takes care of you. And even in Daniel, if you read the book of Daniel, even he was taken captive. But you know what? He actually flourished. He actually prospered in times of captivity. Joseph was another one. Nothing is ever bad said in the Bible about Joseph or Daniel. Joseph was taken into prison and he was raised up to be Pharaoh. You can read about that in Genesis. Not Pharaoh, I'm sorry. He was <laughs> raised to be a ruler in Egypt. So that's why I said, read the Bible for yourself. Study for yourself. You've got to know that Bible like the back of your hand. And uh, even in difficult times, don't bite in the fear bucket what you need to do is you need to live by faith live by what god's word says um and that's what you need to do you need to be in the word daily you need to pray you need to do good deeds and you need to know that god works by fear fear god works by faith the devil works by fear do not get into fear just stand on the word of god um are we in the Ezekiel 38 war? I don't know. Is it going to make any difference to me? You know what? If I go and God raptures me, that'd be great. If God chooses to keep me here, that's fine. If I go through persecution, God will keep me. He'll take care of me. God's going to take care of us. I mean, I'm not even worried about any of that because you know why? Think about Daniel and Joseph. People thrive. And, and yeah, there could be times when people go through hard times. That's true. But if you've got God on your side, he's going to lead you and guide you. And he will give you the, how do I put it? He will give you the grace and mercy if you have to go through difficult things. He's not going to leave you high and dry. So I'm not worried about any of that. I think that God takes care of his own. And he always has. If you read through the Bible, you'll see he always takes care of those that want to serve him. So that's the thing. It, be in the word. Pray and do good deeds and let God take care of the rest. If something comes up, say, God, it says in your word. God, it says in your word. Just pray, pray that word. Have that word with you. 
I mean, what do you love more, your cell phone or your Bible? Have that word with you 24 hours a day, just like your cell phone. Have it with you when you sleep. Have it with you when you walk away. If, you don't, if, if your cell phone would be there, then have your Bible in there. <laughs> I mean, I, it could be literal too, guys. You know, some of you guys might want to do that literal, and then some of you guys just might want to have have uh, that word in your heart. So, I mean, I just want to show you a picture. Do you love the internet more? Or do you love God more? I mean, who do you have with you all the time? You know, <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying. With it, you got to walk in wisdom. I mean, you know, so that that's just something I just want to throw out to you. I just want to say that word should be in you coming out of you, open the book, shut the book, open the book, shut the book, and, uh, you know, choose your this day who you're going to serve, you know, because uh, that's the thing. You want to snuggle up close to the Lord, and I'm not saying the internet is bad. You can take your cell phone, have your Bible in there, you can read and study, you can watch uh, YouTubes. I'm just painting a picture that if you're gabbing all day and you give two seconds for God, you know, where your heart is, there your treasure is. So just step it up a notch, you know, like the balancing. You'll start reading more, reading more, praying more. And the Word of God is, is funny. The more you read the Word, the more you get hungry for it. Where hunger is different, the less you have, the more you want. But the more you read the Bible, the more you want, the more you pray, the more you want to pray. So anyway, so that's my video today. Just snuggle up close to the world, Lord. Don't worry about nothing. All you got to do is... Read the word, pray, and do good deeds, and let God take care of the rest, and don't sweat the small stuff, because you'll find that God, he, just like the kingdoms of the world, he already knew what was going to happen, he already has a plan, and if you are a part of his family and want to do what's right and live before him, he's going to take care of you. Okay, now I can't leave without praying for some of you guys that maybe need a little prayer here, and uh, if you want to accept Christ, you can too, and so, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you allow every person that's supposed to watch this video to watch it. I ask that it would move their hearts, that they would see that you are the King of Kings, that you rule over kings and kingdoms, just like in the book of Daniel. I pray that if there's any here that do not know you, that they would ask you in their heart right now. And I'll just pray this prayer with you. Father God, forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. Help me and show me how to live. Give everyone here a desire for your word. If there's anyone sick or going through a hard time, let them know that you are there for them, that you have already, you know, taken care of all these things for them. Let them pray and trust you. If there's any sick here, we just curse those roots of sickness right now. Let them begin to die and let those people get better every day in every way. Let them look for you to heal them. And you said you sent your word and healed them. So let them get into your word and, and heal them, Lord. Whether it's emotionally, physically, any, any way, Lord. And I pray these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Okay, guys. If you know someone that could be blessed by this video, pass it on. And we will see you in the next video. And remember, big or small, you too could be a backyard farm. God bless.